Good morning, Colts. Today is Friday, March 4th. I'm Lindy from Northside News. Grand Bash tickets will go on sale this week for $150. You're required to have a 2.0 on way to GPA, no debt, and no more than six unexcused absences. Spaces are limited, so get your tickets quick. Grand Bash will be on April 29th. The wood has been all over the place. Okay, so let's go over to Shay to hear about it. Good morning, Colts. Today is hot with a high of 86 and a low of 48. Thank you, and back over to the studio. Thanks, Shay. As Prince went out and asked students some questions, let's see how that went. So I'm here with? Shania. Renaya. Brenda. So the first question is, what's the weirdest thing in your backpack right now? Uh, uh I don't know what these is, but like. What's the worst gift you've ever gotten? Uh, some coal. Maybe. Some what? Coal. A dead goldfish. Um, what's your least favorite smell? Be appropriate. When somebody smell like fish. When, some, when somebody smell like cows. When somebody just stink. Hi guys, so I'm here with? Deja. Jordan. So this is very current events, but uh, who is invading Ukraine right now? Um, Vladimir Putin. Okay, where is Ukraine? Europe. No, you try to copy me. It's Europe. It's Europe. Duh, it's Europe. Okay. Uh, who won the Super Bowl? Oh, I ain't watched that. Um, the Browns. The Browns. What's the Browns? The Cleveland Browns. The team. <laughs> okay. Which U.S. state is the furthest south? I don't know. Canada. What? Canada. I said further south. New York. <laughs> All right, thank you. Hi, so introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Liam. Liam. What grade? 12th grade. This is very current event. Who is invading Ukraine right now? Russia? I have no idea. Where is Ukraine? I have no idea. Probably somewhere over in like Asia or Europe. Okay. Who won the Super Bowl? Um, it was either Japan or America. I don't know. Super Bowl? <laughs> I don't do sports. <laughs> Super Bowl is for like American teams only, right? Oh, it was probably like, like, like Ohio. I don't know. <laughs> Which U.S. state is the furthest south? Um. Texas. Texas? Because, like, that's south. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're very sweet. Thanks, Esperance. Let's go over to sports. Good morning. Varsity Baseball will be here at home at 6.30 versus TC. Come out and get some good nachos. Back over to Libney in the studio. Thanks, Kenzie. Prom will be on April 9th. Make sure you have a parking pass to park in the back parking lot. And don't forget to drive safely on the roads. Thank you for watching Northside News, and please remember to always do what's right, do your best, and treat others the way you want to be treated. I'm Libni. Have a day. Ew. Have a day great. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Well, you know, we run everything live here, folks. We now have an interview with Mr. Fritch in the new cafeteria and when it will be open. Good morning, everyone. I'm here with Mr. Fritch talking about the new cafeteria. So what's going to happen to the new NPR room? So we're going to use it for another purpose. We aren't quite sure how that's going to look yet because once this is complete then they will start on that and things will start to come together and we'll have a much better idea. But right now it's geared up to be small offices and areas for testing and possibly moving our textbook room into there. But that's where we're at right now. It's still a multi-purpose room and will be a multi-purpose room. Okay. What's going to happen to the old cafeteria? The old cafeteria is slated to become an auditorium. We are not quite sure what that auditorium is going to look like at this time, but there are plans. They're going to start demolition on that after spring break, and um, we will be obviously using the new cafeteria. So that's the work will start there, and that will be closed off, and students will not have access at this time. The clinic will be moving into the cafeteria area, so the clinic will move from where it is currently in Building 4 over to, um, over to the old cafeteria. So the plan to open this is after spring break? The goal is that when you return from your spring break, 
Tuesday, that is the 18th, I believe, don't quote me on that, but the day we return from spring break, which is a Tuesday, Monday's a work, teacher work day, students will be coming to dine in the new North Marion High School cafeteria. Okay, how can students enter this from where Building 24 is in auto? Okay, that's a tough question, but, or it's a tough answer actually, but as of right now, students are going to need to come between Building 24 and the automotive area. So like you would be going to Building 24 to go to Building 24 for class, you are just going to continue straight and come right on out to the cafeteria, and everybody's going to have to kind of funnel in and out through that area. That is the only entrance at this time. How many lines are expected? Well, as you can see, it looks like we're going to have three serving lines. So almost like what we have now, but it's going to be much more efficient and much more effective. Students will just circle in, circle out, circle in, circle out, and it's going to be hopefully quick. We'll have to wait and see, but it will take some time and we'll smooth it out as we go along. How many people can be sat inside and in the new-ish courtyard? We're looking at, I'm just going to say roughly 500 for each lunch. You can fit 500 students in this cafeteria and outside dining in the courtyard. Is there anything going to be happening to the old courtyard or is that just going to be there and students can still go there during lunches? The old co courtyard will remain where it's at. Obviously we're not going to do anything with that, but the goal is all students will eat lunch in the cafeteria. There's going to be no taking food outside of the cafeteria, but they will have to eat their food in the cafeteria. When they're done, if it's possible and we can provide coverage, we will have the courtyard open for students if they would like to go there, if they need to go to the media center, but food is meant to stay in the new cafeteria. That's why we're building this as part of a keep everybody centralized, located together. Um, it's a great place to eat inside or out, and as you can see, we have some counters here that are going to, students are going to be able to sit at like a countertop and be able to charge their phones. There's charging stations, so it's going to be a, a great environment for the students, and we're looking forward to getting started on it. Okay. Will the time for students to get to the cafeteria change since the buildings are so far away or is that going to remain the same as well? No, and fortunate or unfortunate, some lunches might change for some of you. Um, we're working on a, a new list right now so that we equally distribute those 500 that can hold equally through ABC lunch. So we want to try to get between four and 500 students in each lunch, which means we're going to have to change some th things up. But we also hope, hopefully, have designed it well enough. Miss Sales had a great idea, our principal, that we would like the top floor of 24 would come to lunch, a lunch, let's say, and then at the same time, the bottom floor or all of 18 or eight would come to lunch as well. So that would give time for building 24 students to get in here, get through the line. By the time you walk from eight down to here, the line, there should be no line. We should be eliminating or very drastically reducing the time students wait in line. It should be very quick now. So the time it takes to walk over to here, you'll make up in the time you're not spending standing in line. That's the goal. Okay. Will the food change because of the new cafeteria? That I cannot say. They have some really, really new really impressive new equipment coming in. From my understanding, there's going to be some deluxe pizza ovens that will... I don't know how much they're going to change the pizza. You can only do so much with dough and sauce and cheese, but they are state-of-the-art equipment that's being brought in to uh, either A, speed up the process, or maybe possibly provide a better product. Okay, that should be all the questions I have for you today. Thank you, and back over to you guys in the studio.